It was a quiet, star-filled night. Not a single cloud in sight. No Judge Parker was fast asleep in dreams. And a screaming, howling cry. A thing fell from the sky with a noise that made the cows and horses scream. Well, the judge looked out his window. His windmill was on fire. He lit a lantern, then he rushed outside. He saw scattered all around the red hot metal on the ground and the body of a thing that had just died. And a flying saucer crashed in the jet practice windmill in 1897, so they say. And it was in Aurora, Texas, and in the flaming wreckage they found the tiny spaceman that they buried the next day. Well, the neighbors come and gathered round to see the body on the ground. The preacher blessed this unwashed heathen friend. The oldest man in town said it was Satan's son they found. And the town drunk never touched a drink again. And the old maid Martha Chase swore she recognized his face. It was a peeping Tom she'd seen for fifty years. And as they lowered him six feet down, no one spoke or made a sound. And the undertaker's hands were wet with fear. And a flying saucer crashed into Jack Rock's windmill in 1897, so they say. And it was in Aurora, Texas, and in the flaming wreckage they found the tiny spaceman that they buried the next day. Well, a widow Hannah Post. That it was the Holy Ghost, and for the remainder of her life, it's praise she'd sing. Soon the metal disappeared, most of it the souvenirs, and the rest just got plowed under in the spring. Now the years have passed and gone, many generations born. It was just an old wives' tale, some people say. But somewhere in that Texas ground, there's a body lying down that was born somewhere beyond the Milky Way. And a flying saucer crashed into Jack Rogers' windmill in 1897, so they say. And it was in Aurora, Texas, and in the flaming wreckage. They find a tiny spaceman that they buried the next day.